Hi, I'm Kostya, and if you're thinking of hosting a virtual magic show for your employees or clients, with so many options for entertainers out there, how do you hire the best virtual magician for your group? I'm going to share with you three things to look for and three important questions to ask when you're interviewing your performer to make that decision easy. First, you need proof. Consider what's your organization's brand and look for the entertainer who will match your company culture. Especially for client-facing events, you want to feel confident that you're bringing someone in who will reflect positively on your organization. And the best way to know that the magician is right for you and your business is to look at their website and photos and get a feel for their style. You want as much proof as possible that you're making the best decision. And especially I recommend looking at their videos to make sure that the audiences that they're performing for in those videos are similar to your audience. Second, look for professionalism. Your audience is going to experience the show, which is the tip of the iceberg. But you, the person booking the event, you're gonna see all of the rest, the booking process, the planning, and all of the promotion. So you need someone who has made those processes just as flawless and amazing as their best magic tricks. Look for fast replies to your emails, clear communication, and look out for business systems for the booking and the payment processes that make you confident that this person has done this before and you're working with a professional business. Bonus points if the artist you're hiring has a booking manager or an admin team, which gives you peace of mind that you'll get the support you need even when the artist is on stage. Third, look for production value. This is where it's so helpful to jump on a video call with your entertainer. You get to see exactly what you're buying and what do you see? Well, you wanna make sure there's a professional set, that there's good lighting, that there's multiple cameras broadcasting in high definition quality. What do you hear, right? Is the sound coming in crisp and clear while you're on the phone with them on the Zoom call? Is it through a reliable internet connection? Remember that what you experience in your Zoom meeting with them is exactly what your audience is going to experience at Showtime. So take the time to look for a performer who will wow you with not just their magic, but the production value of their show as well. Next, once you're on a video call with the entertainer, here are the three questions that I suggest you ask to go a bit deeper and get to know them. First, instead of asking what tricks do you do, ask how do you structure your show? Now, the way the magician answers this question can be telling. Have they thought about the flow of their show or are they simply presenting trick after trick? In my full one hour show, I take my audience on a journey of carefully planned ups and downs. I start with sleight of hand magic, I segue into theatrical mentalism and mind reading, and the show culminates in a grand finale that brings everything full circle. Every few minutes, I'm switching modalities to maintain everyone's attention span. And that means a new visual, new camera angle, a new type of magic effect. Every minute in my show is carefully thought out to maximize that experience because, hey, screen fatigue is real. So you want to ask if the magician that you're going to work with has a strategy in place to keep everyone engaged from start to finish. Next, inquire about personalization and ask, do you customize any parts of your show for my business? Now, you don't need the whole show to be about your company, but it's important that your organization is acknowledged at the start. Ask the magician if they can use your logo, company name, or messaging in any of their magic, or simply as a part of their digital display or their physical studio. For example, when I was working with MailChimp, they sent me their shirt, hat, and their branded deck of cards to have some fun with their awesome team. When I presented for Miller Coors, I transformed my entire set and created customized magic that used their various brands. In just the last year, I've created customized messaging for over 100 clients, helping them communicate their message, values, or vision to their employees and clients in a really fun, engaging, and, and memorable way. When an audience sees that something was created just for them, it makes it authentic and it elevates the entire experience, I guarantee you that. The last question you wanna ask is critical. How will you help me promote my show once it's booked? Your virtual magic show will only be an astonishing success if your audience shows up. So when a client books my virtual show, they get access to a host of promotional resources to boost attendance. This includes videos, photos, graphics, and something really simple yet really powerful. The exact text and graphics they can use to email their attendees and get them excited to show up. We've even filmed custom invitation videos incorporating your brand and event goals into the message. I always tell my clients, you don't want to make the magic a surprise. You want to pump people up, give them a chance to go on YouTube, watch my TV appearances as I fool Penn and Teller. Anticipating the entertainment you're going to see is a huge part of the joy 
and the magician you work with should help you promote the event as much as possible. So let's review. When searching for the best virtual entertainment, look for these three things. Proof that the entertainer is on brand with your organization. Professionalism in the booking and the planning processes. And production value and advanced technology throughout the show. And when you're meeting with them live, here are the three questions to ask. How do you structure your show? How do you customize it? And how do you help me promote it? Look for proof, professionalism, and production, and ask about structure, customization, and promotion. If you need a reminder, I've created a simple checklist you can use when interviewing and hiring the best virtual magician. You can find that on my website. And if you'd like to talk to me about amazing your people at your next virtual meeting, get in touch. I'd love to wow you from the very start of the booking process all the way through the final applause. Thanks so much. All the best. Take care.